I've got a particular place I look for to set, set the backlash on my gear. I do it the same every time. As long as you do it the same every time, some people do it different. This is just the angle and everything I set mine up on. And right now I've got I got seven thousand, so I'm gonna take a need a little bit more free play in it. Okay, I actually uh, already got 11,000 finished. Now, next process is, if we're done, we haven't tightened anything down. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna start taking um, each bolt loose. Remember, we have not torqued the green gear, or we not, have not torqued the cap bolts. Okay guys, I've already got three of the cap bolts uh, torqued down. Uh, we torqued them down to 85 foot pounds. Uh, a little bit of red Loctite on it, just to ensure they don't back off. Uh, you know, I've still got the indicator set up. I've been periodically checking this all during the uh, tight, uh, tighten these uh, cap bolts down. That way, I know if anything's moved on me. And fortunately, nothing has moved. Uh, so we're gonna get the final torque on this one. Go back and check, always go back and check and make sure everything's good. Okay, now we're torqued down uh, all the way around. The only thing I haven't torqued yet is the uh, the ring gear bolts, but uh, we're only going to take one of these bolts out one at a time to torque them. Uh, that way my setup doesn't change. Again, I'm going to go back and check my backlash. I got my 11,000s right on the money. And here's something I always do at the end of this. I always take a good oak board. You know, we talk about these end caps in here, where they bind up on you a little bit or not. I know these are, but there's one thing I always do at the end. I always take a good block of wood and I hit it from a couple of directions. Put the indicator back on one more time, just to make sure that uh, nothing's changed on me. Got back on 11,000. So I know I got a good solid setup here, guys. Uh, next procedure is we're going to uh, look at the. Uh, uh, we're going to change out uh, one of the uh, uh, ring gear bolts at a time. Again. I buy long ring gear bolts and I cut them off. And the reason why I do that is there's a lot of extra thread in on regular ring gear bolts that's not being used in the ring gear. This just ensures that uh, I've got all the, the thread surface I can have uh, for tightening power and also for staying, uh, uh, making sure they don't back out on it. Okay, guys, what I've done here, we don't we, we want to make sure that we don't miss one of these ring gear bolts. So I put a red mark on it. Basically just taking it out. I don't put it in the hole, I want it on the thread for that way I, I don't get any hydraulic block on my uh, uh, ring gear. Take it right back in. We're going to come back and torque these after we get them all in. So actually what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and torque these right here and I torque these to uh, 85 foot pounds. Uh, this way here I, the Loctite doesn't sit up on me. I'll, I'll torque them as I go up. I, I said earlier we're going to go all the way around. That's incorrect. We're going to torque them one at a time. So now what we're doing is just switching over to the torque wrench. Setting up at 85 foot pounds. It was already on 85 and uh, just simply come in here and do your, uh, I got to have a key here hold the, uh, the uh, and I've got to turn it back the there you go. Alright, 
Okay. All right, guys, we just finished um, torquing all the um, uh, ring gear bolts in. That's completed. Uh, always just make sure you do the ring gear bolts. Make sure you don't skip any. That's, that's why I put the timing mark on there when I got all the way around here where I was at. Next thing going on is the keeper for the uh, for the spanner nuts. Uh, make sure to lock tight these because uh, it's very important. Uh, parts that you don't need backing off during a race and uh, uh, let that nut come loose. Another thing we do is these keepers, I replace these about every other run because uh, they do have a tendency to get bent up a little bit. Uh, and the other thing we do is all these holes, everything in this, before we start putting the gear together, make sure you run a tap in every hole, clean every nut. It wants to be dry. You don't want any lubricant on any of this stuff because we want our lock tight whenever we put it on to stay in, in the proper place. Okay, guys. This is uh, the dreaded piece that always uh, seems to go on. Sometimes it goes on real easy, sometimes it doesn't. So what we're doing here, always put oil on the inside of it, oil your, uh, your uh, differential housing where you get a good slip fit in. If for some reason these don't want to fit, do not force them because uh, they will go the correct way, but you just have to rock them in sometimes. Where's the spring at, Kenny? Okay. Okay, guys, one thing I, uh, I had to take the lock back out. I forgot about uh, the little spring uh, spring here. So, got it in position. Put the little screwdriver. Pop that in. Make sure you go to each end. And just double check everything to make sure it's in. Uh, come back now. Put your uh, keeper bolt in. All right, guys, this is the setup on it. Now we've got to run the air line. That'll be our next thing we're going to do. We've got to flip it back over and lock tight the, um, the pinion cap in, and uh, we'll do an air test on it, and this is ready for the King of the Hammers, 2014. Hey, guys, this is the final check we've done. Uh, got the new uh, Millbury Motorsports uh, locker in here. Um, final test, always before you put it in the car, is to make sure we hit that um, locker kick in, and. There it went. Yeah, we've got a complete job. Uh, next thing we always do after we get it in the car, just to make sure the airlines didn't get pinched or anything, we take the same gauge set up, set it on the car uh, before a race, and just make sure that the locker is working before we go out on the racetrack. Hope this helped you out. And um, if you have any questions or anything, give me a call. Go Bears Motorsports.